Hey Randy, thanks for joining us on Pizza RV TV today. Uh, I know the Bullet Premier is one of your favorite trailers. You showed us about the Outback a little bit earlier, but uh, Randy, I really appreciate your time. Maybe tell us why the Bullet Premier is your best selling trailer. I, I love the Bullet Premier, Chad, for the simple reason in a lightweight trailer that saves us some fuel mileage and we don't need a big truck to pull it. Um, we haven't lost anything on the inside uh, as interior amenities. Usually in lightweight trailers, to shave that weight, they, they remove some stuff out of the outside, make the walls a little shorter, things like that. We don't have that in a Bullet Premier. We just have a great unit where you haven't lost any interior amenities. I noticed that when we were first looking at this right here, this is the deluxe graphics package on this Bullet Premier. It comes in a red, a burgundy paint. It comes in a blue paint. Full um, body paint. Correct. Yeah, full body paint. You're right, exactly. And I, I think if you're looking for a lightweight trailer, that quote is not that stripped down version that we see a lot of times. Um, the Bullet Premier offers you that full fitting RV. I call it the high end lightweight and because that's what it is. Yeah. And I think we buy so many of these, they're not always at a high-end price. That's that's the great part and about absolutely it. Absolutely not. Uh, with Pete's RV's buying power and being a sole Keystone dealer, you know our pricing is by far none. You know by far the best out there. Hey, Randy, on the south side here. I first want to just bring up. I apologize. We have a comedy of noises out here. We got the airport bias. There's people taking their trailers by, so we'll just have to deal with the noise level as we go along, without a doubt. Um, Bullet Premier. How do they keep the weight down? We talked a little bit about the aluminum construction. I see here a fiberglass exterior. Uh, tell me a little bit how they, they make this lightweight fiberglass. It's a laminated wall, Chad, and these walls are actually built on a table. Um, it's a completely welded aluminum substructure, and what they do is fill in the voids between the aluminum with some hard styrofoam, and then we go ahead and laminate the wall on a table. So we actually uh, push this thing together, which gives us just an incredible, incredible strong substructure at a really lightweight. Uh, so there's no, I, I assume here we see all that fabric pink insulation in your house and eventually you drive this down the road, that insulation ends up all down at the bottom of the wall. Sure this has got the block foam in it. It is all block foam, which just gives us a great R value um, along with the enclosed underbelly and the laminated floor. Just really great R values, lightweight and uh, just meant to last and be around for a long time. Thermal package on all the Bullet Premiers, which means, you know, the ducting, the furnace blows onto those holding tanks and an enclosed underbelly. Sure does. And we have a dead airspace in there, which helps us with the R value as well. Keeps our feet warm a little bit. Warms keeps our that feet floor. warm and keeps us cool in the summer too. Uh, insulation works both ways. Yep, without a doubt, without a doubt. Tell me a little bit, everybody says, well, my trailer's lightweight. Is that gonna make it easier to pull? Keystone does something a little differently than what you see on most trailers. LCI or Lippert who builds the frames for uh, Keystone, which are the best ones in the industry and I've worked on them all. Um, they've actually separated the axle on this guy. So it gives us a better stance as uh, the trailer's sitting as it's going down the road. Um, also, um, it lightens the weight on the tongue. So uh, we don't have a ton of weight on that back bumper or on our hitch uh, while we're towing this guy down the road. Okay, spread axle. I noticed it's got the aluminum rims, radial tires. Again, to lightweight, it keeps a lot of air to the braking system that keeps our wheel bearing grease from breaking down. You nice got feature. it. As you guys can hear, we're right by the air guard base. We, we appreciate the, uh, the men and women doing the service for our country here, without a doubt. Um, I see the big grab handle. I see the three steps. A lot of times we see two steps. And again, that goes to the quality of the Bullet Premier. Um, they've also put the rounded door on it. So the things that you're going to see in you know, the Montanas and the Outbacks, we haven't missed the mark on the Bullet Premier where we do with most lightweight trailers. I noticed this particular floor plan has got the gas strut up top. strut on it, absolutely. So no door catches. Biggest catch of all, Randy, I see these nice looking windows. Tell us a little bit about they these. They are. These windows are great. Something new to the industry here in the last year or so. And they're just a nice clean look. Um, and, and they look great on the outside of this Bullet Premier, especially with the updated graphics package. Without a doubt. Those crank out so we can leave them out in the winter uh, when it's raining or drizzling a little sure bit. Sure can. Yep. Just like the windows of old, but they just they have that new feel and that new look to them. All tinted to keep the hot spots off the floor. So it just adds to the Bullet Premier. I agree. Maybe you can take a step back and tell us this unique floor plan here, this Bullet 27. Um, it's got the outside kitchen on it. And not only is the outside kitchen, but we got a we got a sink facility, we got a cooking facility, we got the refrigerator. Hot and cold running water outside. Uh, again, something new to the industry in the last year or so, and it's been real excited. Keystone uh, has definitely hit the mark on a few different product lines with it, and the Bullet Premier does a great job with it as well. Two burner stove out here, hot and cold running water, and a larger refrigerator so we can keep our, our beverages outside. The kids aren't running inside, in and out of the camper all day long to, to get a soda or what have you. Do I see we got a spot outside here to hook the TV up? We can. If you guys watch the races or the sporting events from outside the camper like I do, Put the TV right here on the counter and you are good to go. Cool. Well, I definitely, you know, I'm impressed by the 
Premier's build, number one the build, number one they're not cutting quality. Uh, we've seen the inside of the slides, we've seen a lot of nice stuff on this and I, I appreciate your time. Anything else you can think of that you know that I really need to know on this uh, this Bullet Premier? I could go on and on forever Chad, um, just the extras they've given you, they've given us the motion sensor light, they've given us the outside speakers, we've even got a place to lock up our bikes out back here. <laughs> nice. Um, just, I can go on, it would be a long, an hour and a half movie. You got it. Alrighty guys, well Randy, thanks for coming out today. I know My you've pleasure. done some videos with me in the past and it's always been a blast. My pleasure too, and uh, I look forward to uh, doing another one with you. Me too, man. Well, guys, that's pretty much a wrap. We're back where we started, right here back in front of our one of our beautiful painted bullet premieres. Um, I do want to mention to you, you know, Pete's RV Center probably stocks more bullet premieres than any other dealer at the best prices around. So when you're shopping for your bullet premiere, make sure you check with us. I can tell you last year, I do want to send a special thanks out to all my customers. Last year, I spent over $2,000 in paying referral fees to my customers that bought trailers for us. So just want to give a special thanks to those people there. So don't forget to ask for Chad and Randy at PeteRV.com when you call in. And we'll be glad to help you and get you the right bullet premiere for you and your family. Thanks for stopping by and thanks for watching Pete's RV TV.